I was born and raised in the Bronx. So for 19 years, um, I always felt a strong uh, reason to defend it whenever somebody brought up the condition of the Bronx. Um, I can admit that the Bronx is, it's in bad shape. Um, when I'm talking to my friends and you know, like we're, we're noticing things, it's like, or we're going to our friend's house and like we're walking from the store. We're like, oh my God, this is the gutter. This is, this is the ghetto. This is, it is mad trash. This is, it's terrible. So for sure, I'm definitely aware of the condition of the Bronx. And when I was younger, maybe not so much, but as I was in high school, um, and I went to high school in Harlem, uh, I, no I started to notice the differences because I started getting internships and with those internships, I had to go downtown. You know, when you go downtown, you definitely see the difference that back and forth that I had to do from, you know, the Bronx to Manhattan really heightened my senses of what was different when I went home versus when I had to go to my internship. The differences were very stark. And it sometimes makes me question how there is such a large gap in just a large difference in the way people can live based on their income like to feel like you are just surrounded by dirt and grime and lots of police cars policing and not protecting it, it makes you wonder what's the difference.